Welcome back. This week, we're going to have a look at a lusty shaman. Lusty shaman? What? Um, this is a deck I've been having a look at recently. It's a bit of a meta deck at the moment. Um, I've had mixed success with it. It, it seems to be mostly around, uh, let's kick the shenanigans off, uh, mostly around the procking of um, Bloodlust. So if if the if I get it out, absolutely amazing. Like, I think I did about 20 damage in one turn. It was amazing. But if I don't, it tends to flounder a little bit. Um, let's see. You know, win or lose, we're going to crack on and, you know, see what happens. Hopefully I can get at least one win out of it on, on camera. So here we are. Okay, Paladin. It'd be interesting to see what kind of... Um, I've, I've been noticing a few kind of Paladin rush decks recently. Um, yeah, they seem to probably destroy things quite quickly. This may not go down the way I would like it to. But let's see. Um, I'm going to ditch the Azur Drake because I think that's a good one for later. This will seem to fairly decent to start off with. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Turn one play. <laughs> awesome. I like that one. Okay, let's hope that this can't get taken out. I don't see why it would. Standard first round play, really. Drop that out, get the overload. Oh, okay, well, that's gone then, I guess. Okay, not a stand standard turn one play. Um, I'm not going for the overload this time. I'm going to go and see. Hopefully, I can get this abusive sergeant. And I can't. Okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so he's going for an aggressive stance. Seems from like, you know, day one. Ag aggressive control. Okay, well, let's get some totems out. Gives them something to chew through. I think you'll probably use that and that to take out that and that to take out my totem golem. And there we go, yeah, exactly that. So he wants to clear the board, but he leaves himself with what's gonna what's he gonna draw? Turn four Coming in a Murloc Knight. Should have seen that one coming, shouldn't I really? Murloc deck. Okay, well, this is theoretically a totem, giving me one less there, that's quite nice. Um, I'm tempted to use the coin and totem up. I can't really take out his rock. Can't really use a rock biter to take out him. It seems a bit of a waste. If I do that, it allows me to pick up this next. I can pick this up next time anyway. It's just that it means it will give me two to maybe drop out another totem golem. Maybe I'm overloading. Let's. You know what? Let's just pull the turn and go. Obviously, I need to dispatch the Murloc Knight as quickly as possible. I'm wondering too. There we go. A Biofin Tidehunter. Intriguing.
one less with each taunt. So that will go down to three. Or we do that and then drop that in and take out two. He's. I think we'll do that. Let's break the back of his uh, Murloc Knight, I think. And they certainly do. They guide you, hopefully, to make a nice win. The elements guide me. Well, I sit inside. It's a beautiful day. The cat's in the back garden chasing flies. Okay, this and this, take out that. This, oh, maybe, yeah. Well, I think he'd like to take out that as well. I'm not sure how he could clear me, but that is definitely going to go. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. That works out perfectly, doesn't it? cute noise. Okie doke. Right, so I'm going to break, try to break the back of this again. Keep him cleared. He's pushing me close to top decking. That doesn't make me comfortable. Seems a decent play. I don't want to go down to top decking. There's some decent cards here. If I can keep it out this round. I mean, he, you know, he's going to remove one of these fellas, but. What's that? He's got one, two, three, four, five damage. So he can take out both of these. And will. But getting close okay he's quite desperate to make sure I have nothing on the board I'm sure we played that at the beginning I'm not entirely sure how much clearance the Murloc deck has. Apart from just putting minions on the board. Yeah, that's probably not going to help me out a great deal. Getting a shameless thrashing by Murlocs. That has to go. As a control deck, it's, it's absolutely kicking me. Yeah, he's obviously won. Four, 
frustrating. And we didn't even see bloodlust. Oh well, never mind. Onwards and upwards. Uh, or downwards. Hopefully not downwards. Maybe more of the upwards than the downwards. Sometimes I just am uh, not sure where you'd go with that. Um, I was right in one sense, though. It was a uh, aggressive paladin. Kind of a rushy deck, a little bit, maybe. Uh, certainly control. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully, we can see the power of the shaman now. Um, it's a nice card to have. Could have been nice last round. Would have stopped me from drawing close to top deck. Equally a nice card. Also a nice card that would have been perfect last round. Never mind. Let's greet this fella and move on to the next round. Oh, greetings indeed. Yes. It is incredible. I'm going to go for a totem. Do you want that much card draw at the beginning? I mean, kind of, but... I certainly don't want to do that just yet. It's tempting. I'd like to put a minion on the board, that's for sure. I'm going to give him some armor. Oh, apparently not. I'm going to give him some pain. A whole one point of pain. Plus two will take out that. Or not. Let's see that I can bide a little bit of time. I'm really not keen on doing uneven mana draws, uh, but I feel this is probably a decent play this turn. Ah, oh, and it was. Perfect. So I'm going to just clear off a couple of those, albeit that will allow this frothing berserker to go a bit crazy. Um, hmm. Seedman's a reasonable play. Did we hit that four? Did we hit that four? Oh, three. Slightly annoying, but there we go. Such is life. Now he's building for a larger, a larger uptake, is he? I see. Well, I'm not too fast about that.
Now he's got four armor of pop. <clears throat> but at least I have a taunt. Hmm. I did indeed, sir. There we go, nice. Hmm. I'm going to go for as much card draw as I can from this turn, I think. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Um, <laughs> neither does that. At least I put a threat big enough on the board that it made him want to uh, get rid of that. Be honest, I'm struggling to see where to go with this. I mean, nobody's given me the opportunity to leave any minions on the board at the moment. The only thing I can do is just, you know what, chuck them all on and, and I hope for the best. Put so many on there that, you know, it's just too many to him to take out in one go. And then maybe I can wipe out some stuff with Bloodlust next round and, and uh, Flame Tongue. Especially this mofo. That was fairly, was better than I thought it was going to go. Oh, here we go. Brawl. Fantastic. Oh, well. That's good. Happy for me. I'm pleased with that. I know that, I know he's going to take it out with the, the Gorham Owl, but, you know, so be it. Let's pop this fellow out. And... Uh, is it too soon? No, it can't be too soon, surely. Start chipping away a little bit at that. Four damage this round is okay.
Intriguing he's more scared of that than he is of uh, this particular thing, but I suppose that could grow into a quite, quite a monster. Um... Not too bothered about Rafam at the moment. He can sit up there to take the seven that will take him down. I take seven. then execute. Hmm. I'm struggling um, with this particular shaman. I'll be entirely honest. This isn't. Um, there's 11, 10. I mean, it could do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't even. I don't even. Uh, I, don't, I just. Uh, yeah, it is astonishing. Absolutely. I mean, what's that? That's six, six, twelve. I mean, he—I'm dead, really, aren't I? I mean, he's got to chew through this, but ultimately, I'm not entirely sure if I can even. I mean, I just can't even. There's absolutely no point to this, particularly. And he seems intent on not going for face as uh, more the fact that's just kind of like, hey, look, I just want to remove everything you have. You can hear the uh, the slight annoyance in my voice. <sighs> hey, thanks for that. Brilliant. Unbelievable. Just foregoing the inevitable, and he seems to want to uh, marvel in it. So I'm going to have one more go just to see if I can actually crack out this particular mechanic but to be fair I I played some aggro shaman um, before the um, before the gold gods came and I'll be honest it, I, I was loving it it was absolutely fantastic it had great card draw great healing and it was incredibly good at wiping out opponents so, well, look, shaman against shaman. Let's see how this one works out. So we've got a turn one, turn golem. Um, 
to all its detriment. It's still not, oh, not a bad thing. Do we leave the hex in and get it out? Hex could come later. It could be kind of handy. Um, I don't think this is a bad starting hand. Could probably have done with the uh, tunneling trog, but... I'm going to go Tome Run, Totem Golem. He's fairly formidable on turn one. Certainly not that easy to remove. Get some early damage. Aha, Cthune Shaman. I was wondering how long it would take to reveal this deck, and it has just revealed right now. So, do we... I'd like to take that out before it does too much damage. Um... Seems a shame to use that there this early, but it will uh, it will do the trick. No, leave that. Don't expend everything. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's too early in the game. <laughs> oh, perfect. There we go. Let's see. Bloodlust in the uh, bloodlust in the hand already. So I mean, you know, if we are a little bit more fortuitous with this, maybe, maybe. Five damage to overload, wow. Either or, this seems like a great play this round. <sighs> yes, it was. Either or, I lose the totem golem. Actually, I don't have to. He can strike again. He has to go for a taunt first, still. I don't really know why I did that. That was a bit silly. <coughs> Sorry, I think my cold adult brain has just just no. That's oh, it's all those it's all those losses. That's what it is. I'm gonna just put it down to that. Put it down to pure idiocy. There we go. Actually, that didn't work out too bad. I still have control. Good value out of this fella. He's been here since turn one. Uh, that and a, and a totem. Oh, we've got enough to clear this out. Toasty. 
does mean taking 12 damage, but... Uh, actually, we're going to... Hmm, if we hit this twice, that'll do down to one, then whatever he hits here... Okay. That's acceptable. I like that. This is the problem with using a deck that bases its whole uh, gimmick, I guess, around one particular card, is that you wait for all of the elements to come together in one, and, you know, unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. Um, we are totally getting rid of that. Um, I feel like this is probably a fairly decent play. No, thank you. We got a good call for bloodlust next round. Three, five. So. We have uh, the total damage. We need to destroy. We need 16 plus 4. We need 20 damage. So we have 3. So we have basically have 5. 8. Um, 11. It's not going to be enough. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. 11. 11, 11, 11, yeah, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, then we might be all right. Sod it, let's go with it. There we go, hooray, it worked. <laughs> Finally, 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 finally. Well, there we go. Gimmick over. Um, I will more than likely be moving on from that Shaman deck. Um, I'm sure there are better ones out there. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Slightly longer, but I was desperate for that that last win. I think you could probably hear it. Um, take care, everyone. Um, have a good day, and I will see you in.